Hi everyone. Um, boot sale items. I went yesterday to the boot sale and I'm like looking for all this stuff and there was obviously a lot of junk there always is, but I found one box and it was full of like Chinese bits and pieces, loads of them. I mean, I said to the guy, how much you want? And he said, oh, give, give me 30 pound. So I looked at them and to be honest, I know very little, but I do know something about Chinese ceramics and porcelain. Yeah, it's porcelain, not ceramics. Anyway, I'll come back to this one in a minute and then we'll go on a bit. Maybe I need help back here really to find out anything else about these. I have no idea, but we'll go from that. Right, we'll go for at least what I think is not very good to the better stuff. Right, as you can see, it's semi glaze, crackle glaze, but the work, artwork, it's very misty, like it's um all run down the pot. The top of the pot is like that. I'm not sure, but I think that might. I'm not sure really. I don't know. It's been touched up or whatever. It's got Chinese marks all on it. Anyway, I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, um, yeah, then it's got little clouds. And then it's got this bunch of, I can't, I have no idea what, I know it's Chinese writing or Japanese writing, but I don't know. But the back of it, I sort of know. On the bottom of it, Somebody said to look at the rim to see what the rim is like. Anyway, on the bottom of it is their markings. And I think the first one at the top right means great, and the next means ming. And I don't know what the rest of it is. I can't decipher that. I presume it's that. I don't really know, to be honest, anyway, but that's the marks. Please, if there's anybody out there, tell me what it is. The markings on it, it's got little crackles and bubbles everywhere. And you can see the crackles there. And the rim looks really dirty. Anyway, that's that. I don't know, you can see the inside of it. Anyway, that was the first item that I pulled out. There's quite a lot of bits and pieces, some was a load of rubbish. Anyway, then there was this, which is, I think they call it Familiar Rose. Uh, I don't know what that sign is. I have no idea. Pretty, really pretty. There's run stains down there. Nothing there. Little chip there. But yeah, nice inside of it. Well painted. How the hell did they do all that? All the intricate painting. The birds and the peaches, I presume. Flowers. And it's beautiful painted. Now, I was told this is from the Republic. It's got little marks in it. It's got China. But they said it could be earlier because um, it was after the revolution, they started stamping everything China. And most of it was um, already in stock. So it's like new old stock, whatever you mean. But yeah, really interesting. But another one I need more help with. 
Roses, is it? Looks really nice. Anyway, that's that one, which I have no, another game, I don't have no idea. <coughs> and this is the next poem. Lots and lots of black marks, like little bubble marks. There's fruit inside it. Or a flower and fruit. This one looks really nice, actually. If you can see, oh, I'd love to know what that mark means. Um, pon is that a pomegranate? Oh yeah, pomegranates. Bats. I presume it's a bat or some other kind of animal. Let's move it around. Yeah. Got a very strange shape to the lid, if you can see it. But it's really beautifully painted. Another one of them black marks. Them dimples. Oh, one now. But yeah, it's beautifully painted. Hmm. Even the patch paint quite well. And then, it is beautiful when I look at it. It's been really beautifully painted. No runs on that. Look at the colouring. Really nice. And then, the sign. I think it's this way up, is it? Yeah. Someone said it's an old sign. But it's like, um, what did he say? I don't know, Qing, Qing Dynasty. But yeah, he said like this, you got to watch out because there's a lot of fakes about. But yeah, this is one that's been, um, I don't know if it's an old one. It could be an old one, all right, though. Could be really early one. But I'm not sure. That's why I'm on here asking for people's help. And I mean, I need people's help. Anyway, that was that one. Which I took a few photos on Google search. And I can't find nothing. Well, I don't know if I'm looking for the right thing anyway, but... Yeah. Really beautifully painted. Anyway, this is the one that I think is got some sort of potential to it, as in cell potential. Um, I've looked everywhere for this. I like the colours. Um, my friend who buys in pieces and he's Chinese, and he said it's the markings and the painting is Buddhist, but he says he's never seen one before, nor have I. But the lid, if you can see that, it's really filthy inside. Yeah, so there's a couple of marks on it. It's really, really beautiful. But on the bottom of this, we'll come to it in a minute. What's that mark? Some bubbles again. Yeah. As you can see. And I don't understand that. Because it's nicely painted. Is it parts that's been missed when it hasn't been painted or is it rubbed off? I've no idea. But on the bottom, I'm intrigued. I'll show you this to rim. Rim where? Hmm. And then it's got a sign on the bottom. I don't know what it means. Is that fourth? Regiment. God knows what that says. A fault, a fault, a fault. I think that says... I don't know, 1960 or... I think in 60, anyway. 
Oh, I'm not sure it's a really old sticker. Please, if there's anybody out there that knows anything on this, I'd love your help. I do think it's quite an interesting one. The colours are beautiful on it. And the design, I've never seen it before. Oh, there's a little mark there. But, yeah, just never seen nothing like it before. So, I'd love your help, all you experts out there. Anyway, that's me signing off. Be back soon with more, more boot sale finds, antique shop finds, record finds. Um, yeah, so please get back to me. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, trying to grow my channel, as I keep saying, but there we go. But all your help is needed. Anyway, see you later. Cheers.